I had uh, my first thing is I had a 909 with a boss guitar, boss made a guitar foot pedal sampler. Hmm. That what I would do is the it, and it had a trigger out and the sampler had a trigger in. Right, so right. you would go trigger out of I want to say the rim shot of the 909 into the trigger in. And you would program the trigger mm -hmm. and just turn the volume down. And then you would plug a mic up to the portable sampler. And you would leave a gap so your first trigger would come in up on, like if you step sequence it, it would come in like on five. Mm -hmm. So if you said, you know, my name is Jeff, you would get the Jeff out on the mic and it wouldn't start triggering until the first one. Mm -hmm. So you could say, my name is Jeff, and turn it to from sample to play, and they would be like, my name is Jeff, 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 Jeff. Yeah. And people would freak out, like, oh my God, how did he do that? <laughs> we went to Vegas yesterday, had a convention, like was all of the mobile DJs, and I did a DJ set mm -hmm. for all of the DJs, mm -hmm. but it was funny to watch how all of the DJs now play pre-recorded mixes, all of the DJs play on controllers, but it was what like for them watching me do an actual set that I'm taking this record and this record and actually mixing it together and then using my effects and coming out of that and then bringing something mm -hmm. else in to watch them just kind of like, oh my God. And I'm kind of like, this is how it was yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You like, I'm kind of like, you're looking at me like I just invented something. And I was like, no, this is yeah. how we used to do it. Right, right. That's right. Especially, I think, coming from, you know, programming, step sequencing, and just the, the, the traditional rolling 808, 909 sound. Mm -hmm. First of all, to just be able to have all of those sounds back in one box and right. not have the 909, the 727, 707, 303, 606, to have it all in one box. The synthesizer, you know, is incredible. The TB3, the, the voice thing That's is just yeah. incredible. But the mixer, just to be able to tie everything together mm -hmm. and just kind of almost jam out from a live perspective, you know, we might have came up with 25, 30 different things yeah, it just was amazing. on fly. Yeah. It sounded amazing. I didn't take anything out the box as far as a manual. I don't know too many people who read the manuals. I know that sounds funny, but mm. most people just want to get their hands on equipment and just start jamming. Um, and just the ability to do that mm -hmm. was, was great. <laughs> There's no output. This everything is with USB. Like this is Amazing. Like when you look, you're kind of like, okay, all of that sound came out and there's no output. That's right. That's Wow, audio and syncing all through USB. Right. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Sound quality is incredible. You know, just the punchiness, it, it really sounds good. The, the mastering button was genius. Because, <laughs> um, you know, that's just the icing on the cake. But all of the synth sounds, all of the, the drum sounds, um, and you can add the effects on top of it. Like, it's, everything is already built in. Like, mm -hmm. instead of, you know, having to go outside of it, everything that you need is there, from delays to the flangers to, you know, reverb, all tempo synced, mm -hmm. if you want it. You know, it's, it's amazing. And I've never seen a mixer that kind of had a step sequencer that you can kind of use, you know, in conjunction with everything else, as well as the, the beat effects and the, the, the other effects. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like, you know, this, this is the centerpiece of everything. Right, it's the future. 
But you know what? It kind of opens up so many, so many doors mm -hmm. of, you know, that you can kind of almost jam out on your own in a DJ set mm -hmm. because it has everything, all of the components. You can program a beat, and and the crazy thing is, I don't think you necessarily have to have something ready. You can almost start That's right. and just take people on the ride with you, mm -hmm. you know, being spontaneous and coming mm -hmm. up with stuff and using the oscillators and the filters and dropping the beats out. And, you know, like I said, you know, we jammed out for about an hour mm -hmm. and had never touched it. So imagine yeah. if you kind of get used to how everything is, what you can come up with. <laughs> What makes the experience is that you go there and and put your personality into what you do. That's right.